Prince Harry will duck out of traditional Royal Boxing Day shoe to make sure he doesn't upset Meghan. Prince Harry will not be taking part in the traditional Royal Boxing Day shoot because he doesn't want to upset his fiancée Meghan Markle. The 33-year-old was just 12 when he took part in his first festive shoot but has pulled out because Miss Markle is a keen animal rights campaigner. Miss Markle, 36, doesn't like hunting and Prince Harry is said to have shocked gamekeepers at Sandringham after he informed them he won't be there on December 26. Instead, his brother Prince William, 35, and 69-year-old father Prince Charles, will take part in the shoot. The royal source told the son, the Boxing Day shoot was always going to be a tricky issue. Meghan is a keen animal rights campaigner and doesn't like hunting in any form. Harry loves it and has always been out there on Boxing Day. But if it means breaking with long-standing royal traditions to avoid upsetting her, so be it. It's fair to say that there are some pretty stunned faces around here. Earlier this month, Prince Harry and a group of his friends killed 15 wild boar on a weekend hunting trip in Germany while his fiancée was away. One of Prince Harry's friends reportedly said he made his decision to not attend the traditional shoot on the 20,000 estate in Norfolk because he wouldn't want to upset his suit's star fiancée. The couple will arrive in the county later today to stay with his brother and the Duchess of Cambridge at the nearby Adnanger Hall. It comes just one day after Miss Markle was left distraught when her rescue dog guy broke two of his legs. The Beagle was injured shortly after their engagement was announced and the dog is receiving treatment from television super vet, Professor Noel Fitzpatrick. Prince Harry is said to have joined his anguished fiancé on visits to see Guy. The dog is believed to be receiving treatment at a facility in Surrey. Miss Markle is the first unmarried partner in a relationship with a royal to join the family for Christmas. Kensington Palace declined to comment.